Well, I'm ready to leave. We just got here. You know what? I'm actually with Hank on this one. The average age here is dead. <laughs> Everyone, please, welcome Tess Primoli as she premieres for us what will be her final piece with the San Francisco Ballet next Sunday. Ballerinas. Wait a minute. That's the retiree. She certainly is. Hottest card-carrying member of the AARP I've ever seen. Plus, as a retired person, it won't cost as much to take her to the movies. Forget it. I call dibs, OK? Any hot ballerina is all mine. That's one of my ground rules. Would you like the ribeye or the tenderloin? Yes. Hi. Hi. You're the doctor, right? Um, I'm actually not the doctor, medically speaking. Um, but I run Hank Meds, which is a, it's a concierge doctor service. So, great, great party, huh? I just feel like this place is so cool. The, the wine and the food is so, so cool. Yeah, I hate it. I hate it too. Do you want to bail? I can't duck out on my own party. Can I buy you dinner? Um, it's free and I have some. Well, you haven't even touched yours. Are you not hungry? I'm starving. Somebody made this for me. I don't want to sound spoiled, but I can't tell you how sick I am of grilled fish and fresh fruit. Now that I'm being put out to pasture, I'm craving all that stuff I've had to avoid my whole life. I know this charming little spot that specializes in just that cuisine. And voila. Mustard, relish, and onions, just as God intended it. No ketchup? Ketchup is for dilettantes and three-year-olds. Well, all right, then. OK. I am so going to enjoy this, and not just for the reason you think. Mm. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Guess it was worth the wait. Mm. Mm. What happened to me? I'm not sure. Did you eat today? No, I was too nervous. I did have a glass of wine. Or two. Oh. Do you remember having any chest pains, shortness of breath, headache? No, nothing that, not that I can remember. OK, Tess, this is important. Are you on any meds? Do you take recreational drugs of any kind? No, no, nothing like that. Am I going to be OK? I have my last show next week. For some reason, your blood pressure went down to a level that didn't allow blood to be pumped to your brain. It may have been a reaction to your not eating and then drinking alcohol while being tired, and so you fainted. You should just, you should go home. Eat and get some rest and call me if there are any problems. OK, I will do that. Thank you. OK, sure. Spielberg's pad is down that way. And uh, Martha Stewart has a modest little mansion over there. And the Seinfeld summer place is about five palaces on the left. You can't see it, but it's over there. You seem to be an expert on the Hamptons. Did you come here growing up? Uh, no, I moved out to the Hamptons a couple weeks ago. Really? Mm -hmm. Where are you from? Different habitat, Brooklyn <laughs> via Jersey. But uh, then Hank had a little premature midlife crisis, and you know, I guess I did what any good brother would do. I sacrificed for family. Yeah, that hut you're living in seems harrowing. It's disgusting, you know. Sometimes you just got to take one for the team. <laughs> I know. Seriously, though, it's, it's been nice. Life kind of dead-ended for me in, in New York. And I'm all about opportunity. And it's all opportunity out here. Kind of like us right now. Would you like to grab lunch? Oh, it's just I'm, I'm having fun. I don't want to ruin it. Wait, Food and I have a contentious relationship ever since I was a young dancer trying to make it. It kind of messed me up. Hmm. Then let me unmess you. Wow, this is quite a spread. What's on the menu? Um, OK, so the best meal I've ever had in my entire life was a Machu Picchu. You ever been to Machu Picchu? Um, no. 
If my company doesn't perform there, I haven't been. Okay, basically, it's like heaven on earth. Like, it, you have to go one day, like everybody should go. Tonight, I have recreated that meal in painstaking detail. So, if you would, senorita. Thank you. Okay. Just take a deep breath, relax. Close your eyes. I'm ready, I'm there. Mm. This is really good. <laughs> it tastes really That's good. That's good. It's, yeah, it's all about just becoming one with the food. Ready for bite two? Mmm. Mmm, that's delicious. Wow. You have big points. I mean, <laughs> I've been on a lot of dates around the world, but you're the first guy to ever feed me. Well, you're the first girl I've ever fed, so... Hey, am I interrupting? Uh, big time. Would you uh, excuse me for one second? Uh, yeah. Hey, hey. So, first of all, get out. But before you do that, just know I totally fixed her. Problem solved. Uh, which problem would we be talking about? Tessa's eating problem. The whole passing out problem. All problems solved me. Ask her. Mind over matter. What's happening? <laughs> She's aspirating. Her food is stuck in her upper trachea. Get the emergency medical <laughs> Can I help or do you want me to do something? Oh. Get it out! Is she breathing or... Oh my god, okay. before you fainted. Chorizo bouillabaisse, it's a Peruvian specialty. Chorizo? The other night it was a hot dog. Are you thinking anaphylactic reaction to nitrates? Lines up. No, it's not. How can you be so sure? Because it's happened before, and not just from nitrates. Why didn't you tell me that? There are certain foods that I love, that I crave, that I, I can't have, but sometimes I do. Were you eating this? Yeah, just a bite. Okay, um, you're going on a heart monitor and you're gonna eat a piece of pepperoni pizza. You really want me to eat that? Wait, you really want her to eat that? Yes, I really want her to eat that. Step it up, Hank. Okay, Tess, I want you to take a big bite of the crust. Okay, she's whoa, whoa. writing down. She's going into cardiogenic shock. Shock her! Hit her! Feed her a Snickers! Do something! Be patient. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. You okay? Yeah, I think so. Stay down, stay down. Let your body adjust. What is it? What's wrong with her? Is she allergic to mediocre pizza or what? <laughs> no. It's not an allergy. I think you have a condition that's called deglutition syncope. You eat certain foods, you pass out. It's an extremely rare condition that causes an atrioventricular block when you eat specific types of food. Yeah, your heart is reacting to certain carbohydrates. Some have it with carbonated beverages, some with chocolate. So it wasn't a hot dog, it was the bun. Gold star heaven. <clears throat> so there's something wrong with my heart? There is. You need to see a cardiologist. I can recommend one. Uh, they'll probably want to put in a pacemaker. Yeah, it's a good thing we found it. If you'd had an episode while you were driving, I mean, it could have been fatal. Wait, hold, hold up a second. She needs a pacemaker? Yeah. A cardiologist can put it in under light sedation. Will I be able to dance my final performance? Yes, as long as you avoid these carbs. And after your surgery, you can enjoy a long and happy retirement eating as much junk food as you want. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome.